Hello friends, welcome back to easy to learn tech and thank you for watching all my previous video. In this video, we are going to see 5 reasons for the ice formation in the indoor unit. First reasons of ice formation in our indoor unit is the filter block or dirty. When you see in your indoor unit, if the airflow of our indoor unit is slow, it means there is a filter block or choke. You can clean the filter or as per the condition you can change the filter and you will see there will be fresh air coming from your indoor unit and there will be no ice formation. Next reason for the ice formation of our indoor unit. If you will see second reason it is the fan blower. If our fan blower is, blower is blocked, if it is totally dirty, if the airflow is slow during the running of our air conditioning that time our evaporator will make the ice and you will get the water leakage, low cooling, low airflow. To avoid this, you can clean the blower frequently and you can get the proper cooling and there will be no ice formation in your indoor unit. Let's see the next reason. Third reason is the evaporator coil blockage. When we don't do service in our air conditioning, that time our indoor slowly slowly it settles the unwanted particles and it get blocked. Due to that, the airflow is less and you can get the ice formation over in your indoor unit and it will not give the coolness as before so all the time do the servicing frequently and you will get the proper cooling and there will be no ice formation in your evaporator coil this is the reason number four when you see in your indoor unit if there is ice formation then you have to check the sensor Sometimes our coil sensor or room sensor doesn't command properly to our outdoor unit. At that time also there is ice formation in our indoor unit. To avoid this, if you get the error of sensor, that time you have to check the coil sensor and room sensor and you will get the solution of the ice formation in your indoor unit. Ice formation in our indoor unit, this is the fifth reason. Fifth reason is for the gas or freon leakage or less charge. When we install the IC, if there is a leakage, after some time there will be lack of refrigerant and there will be ice formation in our indoor unit. If the unit gets older, that times there will be leakage in our unit, at the time also there will be the ice formation. To avoid this, keep the refrigerant pressure normal according to the refrigerant. If it is 410, it should be around 110 to 115. According to that, you have to check the pressure and there will be no ice formation in your indoor unit.